Filling your sketchbook could mean different things to different people. The main key for filling your sketchbook on the go is to always have it with you in different scenarios. I'm going to quickly share with you how I do this on a regular basis. Hi, Maria here from MeyerPixie.com and in today's video, we're gonna talk about those different scenarios. The first scenario is daily sketching. Every day when I go to work, I take a sketchbook and a bag with me full of supplies. I never know when I'm gonna have some downtime so that I can do some sketching. Whether it's during my lunch hour, or if I go get my oil changed, or maybe if I go to a coffee shop and drink endless amounts of coffee. Yes, please. I like to have it with me. And although I do still scroll through my Instagram feed from time to time, if I'm having to wait for anything, I like to be able to grab my sketchbook and do some sketching while I'm waiting. Filling my sketchbook to fill the time. See what I did there? The second scenario is travel. If I'm the passenger, I love to sketch. Now, I understand that this doesn't work for everyone. However, I know that I don't feel car sick when I read or when I draw in a car. So it's a great way for me to kind of pass the time with some quick drawing that I can get into my sketchbook. I also like it whenever I get to our destination. I can capture the landscape or the little, you know, downtown shopping areas that we go to. Or maybe if we go to a garden, I can draw or sketch out some flowers. I do this a lot when I'm visiting family. I'll take a few minutes and I'll sketch out something that has to do with that holiday. And then I'll share it on my Instagram feed. It's a great way for me to kind of share what's going on in my life with a picture of something that I have drawn. This is me drawing as a passenger in the car. This one, this is when I'm visiting my family. This one too. And this one over here, this is when we went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee and talk about some beautiful scenery that I was able to sketch in my sketchbook. So even though you're doing a lot of things while you're traveling or visiting family, there's always some time to sketch something out fill that sketchbook. The third scenario is to draw in a planned public location. That means packing up all of your supplies and going to a local park or the zoo or a local landmark in your hometown. This is the time that you have set aside to work in your sketchbook. You're gonna grab your bag, grab your sketchbook, and you're gonna go somewhere outside that you have planned to go and get some certain kinds of drawings. So this could be downtown in the city. This could be out in the country. Um, there's a lot of urban sketching that you can do. There's a lot to see in this big, beautiful world that we live in. Why not plan to capture some of that in a sketchbook? And I have a tip. Some people don't want to draw in public and I get it. People may stop and watch you. And for some artists, it can make us feel a little uncomfortable. For others, you're totally fine. However, this little tip will kind of help draw less attention to what you're doing. So if you have your sketchbook and you're looking at something straight ahead, you can actually just move your eyes up and down. And then you're not drawing as much attention to you as if you were doing this. See the difference? So if you just move your eyes, then people might not actually notice that you're drawing something and they'll stop and check it out. Maybe they think that you're just reading a book. I don't know. And get comfortable wherever you go. Find a bench, take a blanket, whatever you need to do to be comfortable is very important. Make sure that you've got snacks and a drink with you too. And honestly, over time, you will get comfortable and you will find that it's much easier to draw in a public location, especially if it's a location that you enjoy. But try these on the go sketchbook ideas. Have a pencil bag ready to go at all times. For me, that means that I put it in my backpack or my bag every day when I leave the house. 
some of you, this may mean leaving a sketchbook and a bag with all of your supplies in your car. Jot down some locations that you would like to visit, and when you get there, draw what you see. Focus on the shapes and the lines, or maybe the colors if you're using watercolor or some other kind of on-the-go paint technique, or colored pencils. Remember that shapes are your friends. You can find shapes everywhere and fill those in and kind of sketch those in first and then fill in all the detail around it. Try to use a timer on your phone. That is a great way when you're out in public to see how quick and how fast you can draw something. And it also helps you to not think about the people that are around you because you're trying to beat the clock. Thanks for watching, and if you want to go learn those 10 exercises that I have put together to help you fill your sketchbook, you can go watch that next. Next week in my How to Fill Your Sketchbook series, I will talk about practicing new things. Until next time, bye!